Hello, um, I'm Anita from Walnut Farm Designs and I wanted to make a short video uh, showing you how to begin to use a drop spindle. Um, I sell a lot of drop spindle kits and I wanted to show you just the basics of how to do it. Um, usually you will have a bottom whirl drop spindle or a top whirl uh, drop spindle um, and they both come with leader strings and you can use them both the same way and you can learn to spin the same way using the park and draft method um, which everybody teaches um, to, when you learn to spin um, and I just recommend I guess the top whirl over the bottom whirl only because the park and draft method has you keep the, the uh, shaft of the spindle between your knees and I just think it's just slightly more wonky uh, with the bottom whirl. So I'm going to show you on the top whirl but the bottom whirl would be the same way. You're going to have your whorl, your shaft, and your leader string. Um, and I sell a lot of this kit with this type of fiber or a type of fiber that is comb top. This is a roving, this is comb top. Um, this is the fibers are going in every direction. This one they're combed and they're mostly going in straight and you'll see a lot of this um, being hand dyed. Um, I think that perhaps this could be the easiest fiber for a beginner, uh, maybe just because it's thin um, and easier to draft because drafting is one of the things that you need to learn first. So if you get a uh, fiber like this, uh, this is Polworth comb top I like um, especially well, um, I would recommend that you draft it, that you split it, um, split it before drafting. Um, so you're just working with a little bit less fiber so you can just pull that down and split it or strip it, it's also called, um, and then pull off a little bit. Um, with either of these fibers, um, you want to, the one thing you really need to learn um, and, and spinning on a drop spindle is really slowing down the process. Um, whereas if you were right on a spinning wheel, it would be going so fast um, that you couldn't keep up and learn how to draft. So this is really slowing down the process um, and having you learn to draft the fibers. So to draft, you are holding your hands far enough apart uh, so that you're not holding onto the fiber. I can't draft the fibers if I'm holding the other end. Um, my fingers are too close together. So you kind of got to understand how long your fibers are and start pulling them apart. And this is called drafting. And you want to hold your fiber or your hands apart and you kind of look as you're pulling it apart and you see where you can start to see through the fiber and where it's pulling apart. And you just, you don't want to draft it too far or else it'll come apart and it'll break like that. If you should have a problem with breaking, because that's what everybody worries about as you're spinning, you just want to lay your fiber supply and what you've drafted back together. It doesn't know that it's different from the others or that it's pulled apart. And you want to just keep on drafting and pulling it together and that spin and twist will go into the fiber supply and hold it together. And that's how you fix a break. Also, this thinner fiber, you want to draft the same way. Um, you just hold it up and you just kind of hold your fingers far enough apart that you're not grabbing on, you can't cannot draft that fiber, hold them far enough apart and you can kind of see where the fibers are pulling apart and where they're getting thinner and you can see through the fibers. So you can pre-draft, some people like to pre-draft, you can pre-draft a little or draft as you go along. So you take your leader string, you bring it up and you wrap it about maybe three times around the hook. Then you want to put clockwise twist Actually, before you start putting a lot of twist in, you should actually take your fiber, maybe draft out a little bit on the end, put it through the end of the leader string, and hold it together. Then, keeping your fiber supply out of the way, which is one of the big things you need to do is keep it out of the way, you hold it with your left hand and put a lot of clockwise spin into that leader string. You can see it's telephone cording up and getting very tight. When it's done that, just put it between your knees so it's held steady and you can focus on drafting and letting the spin. So for a beginner, you wanna 
draft your fiber back. Mine's a little pre-drafted. And you hold with your left hand and do not let the twist past these fingers. You wanna hold that twist back in there because if it gets up here, you won't be able to draft the fibers anymore. They will be twisted and you won't be able to draft it. So you can see, I don't know if you can see well in the camera, but as I draft it back and I slide my fingers up, the twist is following my fingers up, going into that yarn and twisting it. Now I basically used up my twist now because you can see it doesn't telephone cord up as much. And I can feel that I've used up most of it. So just take it out from between your knees, unwind it, wind it on, spin your, you know, I guess a clockwise direction. Leave enough that you need that leader string kind of there, um, of spun yarn already there, and put more uh, clockwise spin into that. I was teaching somebody the other day and they were flicking it and they were letting it go, but then they wouldn't grab it until it started to un unwind again. I said, make sure to grab it and stop it and don't let it unwind or you're just losing the spin. Now it's shortened way up. It's got tons of spin. It's telephone cording up there. And again, pinch. They're holding back all that spin. Draft a little and slide up. Draft, pull back, slide up, pull back, slide up, pull back, slide up. I think I've used about all the spin. Then you can just unwind and put it on again. As you're learning, if it gets really lumpy and bumpy and you get, keeping your fibers fly out of the way, um, and you get a big lump, people get frustrated and they kind of want to stop and smooth out that lump and they just can't get over that. Um, just leave it be, you know, if you let that get in, it's like a little bit thicker, a um, little bit thicker part, just go on. You're really getting the feel of it um, there. Now, actually, I just let go of this and as you get better, you can let go. But when you're beginning, you really have to keep the the uh, twist out of the fiber supply and I'll try to show you um, why the twist needs to be kept out of your fiber supply and how hard it is to draft it. So at the beginning, don't worry if you have thick and thin spots and everything, you really are going to get the feel of it and if you're just going to be, you know, worrying about every little thing, it's not, that's not going to be helpful. Um, so if I don't hold that twist back and now I've let go, and my fiber supply is starting to twist, then it's hard to draft that. And it's gonna draft and get thick. Um, and then it's not as even. And as you get older, I'm, or get older, get uh, better at this and a uh, better spinner, you can do that and, and there's a long draw that kind of takes advantage of drafting the fiber and letting the spin go in. But as a beginner, you just really have to control the twist um, and hold it back. Now you can see hopefully that there's thick and thin um, and that's because I didn't control the twist and draft it evenly um, as you went up. So again, put lots of twist in there, counter uh, clockwise twist, draft back with the second left hand, let the twist go up with the right, draft back, Slide your fingers up, letting the twist enter the fiber supply. Draft back, slide up, draft back, slide up. Think about an inchworm or something like that. Um, so that is how you uh, spin on a drop spindle and just keep at it and you will, um, you will soon get the muscle memory um, and the feel of it. It's kind of just getting the feel of it. Um, I wanna show you a lot of people are saying, oh, my yarn, my first yarn is, is lumpy and bumpy. But this is my very first yarns uh, that I spun. And I spun the bottom of this on a drop spindle just like this. The same type of fiber. This is actually the same type of fiber um, and was spun on a drop spindle and plied on a drop spindle. Um, so you can make a beautiful uh, piece with the yarn that you think, oh, that's not perfectly smooth. Um, you can really make some beautiful textured finished pieces with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can follow me on Instagram at Walnut Farm Designs, Facebook, or on Etsy.